Hey, this is Gage, and I'm going to walk through your video organizer, which is where you upload and share film with both players and if you want college coaches. The film that you share is visible in their video library, which every player has. You'll see all the film shared with all your teams, whereas the players on your teams will just see the film shared with their particular team. So a 2021 player doesn't have to see 2022 film. If I come down and click on the video organizer, adding an event is very easy. Just enter the name of the event, so I'll click tournament event here, and the start date. If it's a three-day event, just put the first day of the event. Click save. And then what you can do is come down and click on this cloud upload icon, and just simply drag and drop your files. So if I come here and just grab two files off my desktop, and I'll just drag and drop them here, and you'll see the upload will start. What's nice is that, let's say you start an upload, but then you have to leave, maybe you go to a cafe and come back, uh, it'll restart or just continue that upload rather right where you stop. So you don't have to start from scratch. Just want to make sure you keep this window open uh, while the upload is taking place. So for example, if I come up here and click back to my video organizer, it'll create a new window. Here we're in a different view called the library view. So here it's kind of like a tree, just expands out. And I can click my event and then decide which teams I want to share it with. So maybe I want to share this with the 2016 team. And if I want to change the name, start date, etc. If I go back to the top, we have event video. This is just film that's shared uh, by events that we film uh, or that other companies, filming companies, distribute on our platform. The benefit here is that it syncs directly into the appropriate team's video library. You don't have to upload it. And then if I go back to the list view, this is again where you can organize film from any event. So an event that we film, uh, anyone else films, like another filming company, you can just upload and organize all the film in one place. Uh, for your families, uh, which they really like, and it makes it easier for them to build their highlight video. And you can also have a separate video uploader access. Let's say that you have a parent that films from Elevation, an event. They can upload and share film uh, through the video organizer without having access to the recruiting information of your teams. Now, if I click here on the pencil icon and I expand that out, you'll see, okay, these videos are still in progress. Um, when that's done, we'll be able to see them there. But if I go to an event that's already finished, I'll see the status is done. I can click the cloud download to download the icons. I can also click here to notify all the players to access the film, which will open up a new email. If I want to copy another club coach, I could. And you can send that on their way just to notify the kids to access their film. You can also share that film directly with the college coaches with this toggle here. What's nice about that is that, let's say a player on your team number 15 sends a highlight video to a college coach and they really like what they see and they wanna see more film on that player. They can then go into their own video library and watch film of the kid's entire team. And let's say that while number 15 is having a great game, the goalie is having a standout game, and that's number four. Then they'll go to the bottom, see who number four is, click to that player's profile, and now they're recruiting that goalie. So it's just like sharing recruiting attention, just like the college coach was on the sidelines of the game. The other thing is if you're looking, you can also attach a a CSV file of your roster in addition to the embed of your roster below the film. So if you're looking on where to get that, you can click to a roster, come down and you can download that roster. And if you want to delete the email and phone number you can, obviously the college coaches can click through to access that. And then you can see here our upload from before is done. So if I come back and refresh here, we can see now that those are processing. And when they're done processing, then they'll be visible in the video library of the players that you share it with, as well as your video library where you see all the events. And if I come back to where we were before, you can just browse here to attach that file. After you attach a file, you'll see it's visible here and you can download uh, if you wanna check it as well. So that just gives an additional source for the college coaches to see the roster information uh, when they're viewing the film in their film library. The other thing I would note is that if you're finished, you can click on this little star icon. A lot of uh, coaches will use that just to star after they know they've uploaded all the events, so they know that event's complete before they share it with the players. The other thing I would note up here is in the video library, you will see a graphic below. That's going to become dynamic this summer. So it'll become interactive in the sense that if I'm a goalie and I'm going through and building my highlight video and I see a great face-off win by a teammate number 12. I can go down and I can tag that teammate, okay? And then those plays can also be up and down voted by everyone else on the team. And obviously you'll have full functionality as a coach. So what's great is, you know, video is a big part of the recruiting process. That's why we include it with our club service.
Remove that financial barrier by including the highlight video and allowing you to upload and share a film for free. Uh, but now we want to remove that time barrier. So that way when that face-off player goes to build their highlight video, they're not starting from scratch, but they may already have seven or eight plays already found. And we're going to go through and help identify plays as well. So that'll be coming out this summer. And again, the video organizer where I was before is completely free to upload and share film with your players. And obviously a lot of teams use it for uh, film review as well. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Appreciate your time. Thank you.